Okay, what's the guys from the revenge quarter one earnings? You can see that the stock did not react very well to the earnings. I'll get into it. Um, so far, what I think of the stock, I think it can actually drop a little bit further, especially if Rivian's cash starts to thin out even further. And um, from what I can see, you know, EVs right now are having a demand problem. So let's get into it. So first up, we have their uh, production and delivery. You can see that their production actually went down a lot. This was because they were updating their plants. So obviously they can't manufacture vehicles when they are updating their plants. Um, this hopefully brings more efficiency to the production of the uh, Rivian vehicles here. So hopefully this you know, increases their gross profit margin. Currently sitting at around 44%, did not go down too much. I think we might see the effects of this restructuring in I think quarter two or quarter three. Um, and we'll see how the demand for electric vehicles is at that time. Um, and then you have gross uh, profits per unit down about 5,000 per unit. So we might be seeing um, the effects of this restructuring. I'm not sure. We'll continue to see. Uh, we definitely need this gross profit per unit to actually be in the positive. We are still very, very far away from that. Um, for now, the gross profit per unit, even though the plant is restructured, um, and I'm not sure how much the effects of this uh, are, um, is still above uh, you know, uh, the gross profit margin per unit in September and June. So you know it's not necessarily in effect just yet. So let's move on. Um, we have their cash sitting at about 7.8 billion but this is including some investments here which i'll get into liquid cash um, and their free cash flow is uh, negative 1.5 billion so it's still at a loss and if you have dcfs here you can't necessarily uh, put in a good word for rivian right so next up we have their inventory their inventory is actually increasing um, oh by the way liquid cash is only about 6 billion uh, 5.9 billion their inventory, I would I would have expected them to sell more vehicles, but unfortunately, we now have confirmation that there is a demand not only for Rivian vehicles, but also for um, uh, electric vehicles as well. So I think some of this is also that electric, ve uh, electric van for Amazon. I think, unfortunately, they're still not taking the electric vans here. Um, I, I think what Amazon is trying to do is that they are trying to invest into AI. So... Rivian's being pushed to the side a little bit. Um, let's go on to R&D. Um, R&D is down by about 60 million. SGNA um, up by 62 million. Um, and then we have operating expenses only um, up about 2 million. So operating expenses are staying very stable. Um, SGNA, which means they are probably trying to sell uh, uh, more vehicles um, uh, from what I can tell is increased by 62 million here so uh yeah we can see a sizable decrease in the r d this is because the r the r2 has already been uh designed so you know they're not going to be focusing too much on r d they really really need to focus on uh, production and reducing the operating expenses here so uh next up we have the uh sorry you know not not just increasing sorry not just decreasing the opex they need to increase revenues by the way um, next up, we have the net loss increased significantly by 50 million. Uh, common shares, they did dilute a little bit by 48 million. So we are seeing the start of them trying to raise cash. Um, free cash flow is uh, increased by um, 281 million. Okay, so this is a uh, gap uh, free cash flow. I think that's different from the, the last free cash flow I, I went through. Um, yeah, this is non-gap and then uh, gap. Um, you know what? I actually don't know what's the difference. I'm very new to fundamentals. Uh, I will have to check that. <laughs> um, next up, we have uh, Rivian only needs 1.2 billion to launch the R2. Uh, current cash is sitting at only 6 billion with a burn rate of around 2 billion per quarter. They need to raise cash or bring the R2 forward here. So I got this from a, a news article here. Um, Rivian, you know, cut down their required capital to launch the R2 to 1.2 billion. But at the at the burn rate they are, they are running, um, they are not gonna last the end of the year. So they expect the R two to come out at one point two billion. The thing is, I think they've already done the R two um in in terms of design, right? So they can very well 
just launched the R2 very soon. They just need to burn about 1.2 billion. I would assume that is um, some stuff with the plants or I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and they can have the R2 and the R2 is a very, very demanded vehicle. Um, okay, you know what? It's only 35k views. That doesn't seem very good, huh? Um, okay, yeah. 379 people watch the uh, R2 reveal live stream. So we, we know there's a there's quite a lot of interest in the R2 and yeah, probably only about 1% will probably buy the R2. But as for now, um, I still think Rivian is not a stock you want to stay invested in unless you really believe in them. I think there are better opportunities in the market, uh, opportunities in the market. So yeah, that's why I think of Rivian. I think uh, they are they are struggling very very hard with uh, a lot of the you know EV demand stuff. Their their cash obviously. Um, Amazon is probably not taking their their vans um, because they want to focus on AI. They are struggling a lot. They're struggling a lot. Um, so the liquid cash is at about uh, five point nine billion. Uh, I I would say based on that right because Rivian used to trade on cash a couple of uh i would say weeks ago i i think their market cap could actually move down by by two times to about five or seven billion so that would mean that the stock price could be around uh around six to six to seven dollars right so that's why i think of Rivian stock um we might see another drop even though you know this was based on last earnings and so far uh, this earnings we did not see F as big of a drop, even though we still have a couple of days to go. Um, if we see this drop, I wouldn't say it, it's a good time to buy. I think we just need to wait for the EV demand to not only come back, but also you want to wait for Rivian to um be profitable. You know, manufacturing their cars here. So that's why I think Rivian stock. I still think as of now, I won't be invested. I still think that vehicles are very interesting. I still think they have a, well, they, they have a possibly very bright future if, you know, the, the demand for EV picks up. They also have a future where, you know, demand doesn't come back for their vehicles and they absolutely fail. So that is one possibility here that I'm looking at. And this is why I'm I'm not currently invested, even though I am a huge bull in, in Rivian in, in five years. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.